Okay, chapter one, how to do a professional job. In this chapter, we're going to look at the jobs that actuaries do, their statutory roles, the professional framework, doing a professional job, conflicts of interest, and areas to consider when carrying out an actuarial task. There's quite a lot more, but we're just going to focus on these six areas due to workload. So, jobs that actuaries do. What are they? In general, actuaries, you know, they assess, quantify, manage, and monitor risk. Uh, when it comes to risk, you know, they can advise on reinsurance and risk transfer mechanisms. They build and test models and project and discount cash flows. They handle data, use economic and demographic analysis to estimate assumptions and decide on margins. They also manage future liabilities and advise on contribution rates, premium rates and on investment strategy. And... Finally, actuaries also monitor experience. They compare the actual with expected experience and analyze any variation and manage it. Okay, there are some statutory roles. Um, and, you know, this is... The actuary is usually required to certify that, you know, for the valuation of liabilities, proper records have been kept and proper provisions for the liabilities have been made that the liabilities have been valued in the context of assets and both liabilities and assets have been valued in accordance with legislation, that a correct statement of surplus has been produced, that in his or her view premiums or contributions are adequate given reasonable assumptions and the level of the free assets to meet future liabilities, and finally professional guidance has been complied with. Okay. Professional framework of the actuarial profession. Okay, actuaries need to comply with the actuarial professional standards and the technical actuarial standards. They also need to consider proportionality. Um, this is, well, the definition is that nothing in this standard should be interpreted as requiring work to be performed that is not proportionate to the scope of the decision or assignment to which it relates and the benefit that users would be expected to obtain from the work. Then there's also materiality. Matters are material if they could individually or collectively influence the decisions to be made by users of the related actuarial information. Assessing materiality is a matter of reasonable judgment which requires consideration of the user and the context in which the work is performed and reported. And yeah, the actuarial quality framework, its main aim is to promote actuarial quality through methods, communication, actuaries and the environment. It is designed by the Financial Reporting Council and aims to complement professional and other regulations affecting actuaries and their clients. Okay, so doing a professional job. It spells the acronym um, VICA and then TR at the end. And all these things you will see are something that a vicar should also have. So think of a nice priest and the good things, good qualities he'll have. So let's go. He recognizes that others have valid views. He has integrity. He communicates well. He has actuarial, uh, he can give actuarial advice because he has the competence and skills. He is reliable when it comes to the detail, the quality and the timeliness. He is trustworthy, you know, can build those strong relationships with clients, and he's responsible for the decisions that he makes. Okay, conflicts of interest. You're going to want to avoid these at all times, and to avoid them, this is what you can do. You can decline to advise one party, or if you're like the only actuarial firm in town, you can establish a Chinese wall to ring a fence around the, the staff and the information. Um, at all times, you must always disclose what you're doing and, you know, record record all the details. And, yeah, if something is going unfair or, you know, someone's being not nice, you must whistleblow and notify the regulators. Okay, and finally, areas to consider when carrying out an actuarial task. There's 10 points. The first is know who your client is and if there's any conflict, what the problem is and can it be broken down. Agree what the scope of the problem is, understand uh, and have competence as an actuary. 
Five, um, what is the data assumptions and methodology you're going to use? Six is where you check the results that you produce. Maybe get like a fellow peer to review it. Seven is you communicate and report the results well. Eight and nine refer to the results, the implication and the implementation of them. And finally, have you been professional? And yeah, that's basically the chapter. That's all the things we've, uh, we've covered. And study hard.